Hey there, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to another episode on Code Depot, the go-to channel for all things software development. Today, we've got something incredibly fascinating for you we're delving into the world of real-time face recognition using Python, Glib, and Kivi. Want to code along? No problem! You can download the entire project from our exclusive Patreon page. Just follow the link below. Before we get our hands dirty with the code, let's talk about the models we are using. Glib provides some of the most efficient and accurate models for facial recognition. The first model is the Glib Face Recognition ResNet Model V1, DAT. This is based on the ResNet architecture and can generate 1 to 8D facial descriptors. What this means is that it can very accurately recognize various faces. The second is the Shape Predictor 68 Face Landmarks, DAT. This model detects 68 facial landmarks that help align faces for the recognition model. It's like the assistant that makes the main model's job easier. Now, let's move on to what's inside the project. Main.py This is the heart of the application. It handles everything from initializing the Glib models to capturing video frames in real time. Let's dive deeper into main.py, the brain of our real-time face recognition project. This Python script is packed with functionalities and is the driving force behind the entire application. Right at the top, we import the libraries that we'll be using. We have OpenCV for image processing, Glib for face detection and recognition, and Kivi for the GUI. We set up the window size using Kivi's window class. It helps us maintain a better aspect ratio for the application. Initializing Glib Models The script initializes Glib's face detector and two key models, one for facial landmarks and one for face recognition. These models are absolutely crucial for the real-time face recognition to work. Dictionaries for face data script checks if the face directory exists. If not, it exits the application, making sure you don't run into errors later on. Reading and storing face data then reads the images from face directory, computes their face descriptors using glib, and stores them in the dictionaries. Main app class Main app class is where the magic happens. It initializes the layout, starts the camera, and updates the frame in real time. It also performs face recognition using the pre-stored face descriptors. Face directory your face bank moving on to face directory. Think of it as your face bank. It's a simple directory where you store the images of the faces you want to recognize. This is where you'll place the face images you want the system to recognize. Make it a good selfie. The images can be in JPG or PG formats. Make sure they are clear and well lit for best results. The file name, minus the extension, acts as the label. So if you have an image named John, JPG, the face will be recognized as John. This directory is critical for the training of the model. The quality and diversity of the images here directly affect the recognition accuracy. Requirements, texties file lists all the Python libraries you'll need to run the project. A simple pip install will set you up. You might be wondering, where can you actually use this technology? Well, the applications are vast. Security System Smart Homes Retail Experience Online Examinations. Now here is the part that everyone has been waiting for, the demonstration of the system in action. Here we go.
All right, folks, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it enlightening. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up, share this video, and most importantly, subscribe to Code Depot for more such awesome content. For the complete codebase and other exclusive projects, do check out our Patreon page.